Hello again. This is Blark257 with another Genesis 5 VOD. And uh, this set is going to be Chu Dat and Santiago. So uh, Chu Dat, the famous ice climbers. Santiago, also known as Lil Fumi or El Fuego or Santi or many things, or Ken's teammate even. But um, for most of you, these people will not need any introduction. But uh, all right, Liquid Chudat, Ice Climbers player, MDVA. Santiago, Falco player from, uh, from Southern California. If you can hear that, there's a big old Lucky chant right now because Lucky is uh, of a stock on Armada. And this is just this anytime anyone does anything to Armada except Hungrybox, people cheer. All right, so we're going to go straight into it. Two versus Santiago, game one on Battlefield. Two that playing for Carl, whoever that is, Santiago playing for himself. And. Um, so Ice Climbers Falco, a matchup that, in theory, you know, at perfect levels of human execution, should be Falco favored, right? But Ice Climbers are Ice Climbers, and they have that human factor. And whenever humans mess up, as they do, because they are humans, this is where Ice Climbers can shine. And so this matchup is not only winnable, it's very frequently seen as something that is undesirable. As Santiago gets the first mana kill, but to that, maybe the best Sofo in the world. You know, willing to go toe to toe with even the full strength Falco, as you have to be, but first stop for Santiago. And that'll be the wobble. Fairly standard fair, fairly standard cleanup. Stocks are even. Falco's splits are very good, although they're not as good as Fox's are, splits of Popo and Nana, that is. This could be, yes, that'll be a stock. Santiago can't get out of down throw there. Meanwhile, Armada is beam sorting Lucky and is up by a lot on final destination. Are you surprised? There's the stock for Chew That. Three to two. And again, Santiago grabs mana, getting kind of unlucky with that. But uh, he does kill mana. So uh, advantage, but not nothing is guaranteed at this point. Again, that should be a stock on Popo, though. We'll see what Chudak can pull out of his hat. Great recovery. Sometimes the most obvious recovery is the best, hiding in plain sight. And again, Chudak gets back. Oh, a lead talk. He couldn't get any damage off that, but that's a fair. All right, there we go. That's a dead Popo. Chudat will return to two climbers, and Santiago, having taken 57%, looking to deal with it again. That could be a split. Now he can't hit Nana before both of them, and that's a double back air and a stock from Santiago, so Santiago on last stock in game one. Gets the grab on Popo this time. Popo the ideal grab candidate, as Nana cannot do anything about it. That should be it. No, great SDI from Santiago. But this looks bad, and it is, and two that will take game one. Yoshi's story, the counterpick. Good small stage for Falco to open up climbers on. Another grab on Nana. That could have been a big edge guard, but nothing doing. Very fast bears into the wobble for two that. Bash, 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 bash. And there you go. So, up one stock is two that. And uh, grab on Popo that time. But another knockdown. Two that's been getting these great smashes just to, to knock Falco down so he can't do too much damage 
uh, to his Nana in the meantime. But another Sopo situation and a great down smash. We'll see if Huda can clean up. He can't. But uh, Santiago also can't immediately clean up Popo, although he isn't done. And there is that cleanup. So, three stock to three stock. Nana getting the taunts in. Just uh, for the giggles, I guess. That's a jumpless bird. Can he get anything more concrete than up there? No, he can't. But uh, Santiago well into kill percent. That could be a dead Nana, but no. All right, to ledge. Nothing doing. This could be it, and it is. Great down smash from Chudat, and he takes the stock advantage once again. Nana gone, though. This is Santiago's opportunity to close that gap. Great use of the forward tilt, the move you don't often see in neutral, though you see it all the time in the wobble. Up air will do it. Shine might have been the more obvious choice. It's Santiago managing to take very little damage that time around and even up the game. But we'll see if who does this stock. That was a split on a down throw, and this could be it for Nana. Nana isolated, but not enough percent to keep her isolated. That's a grab for Popo. We'll see what the yield is. That was all Popo, by the way. Nana just kind of stood there. And again, Nana just stands there. And there you go. So great stock from Chudat with just Popo, even though Nana had the opportunity to help. Ungrateful. Uh... But there goes Nana. And we're back to this. And there goes Popo. Quick work of Popo from Santiago. And we go to a last stock situation in game two. Nana is isolated. This is really bad for Chudat, but um, Popo bails her out, but he's not near out of the woods yet and has just been getting railed on since this stock began. That could be it for both of them. That should be it for at least Nana Popo to follow. Not yet. He's given him a chance at life. Let's see what he does with it. It would take a miracle, but it is not without out of reach for Chudat. Still not gone. There he is. Santiago takes game two on his counter pick of Yoshi's story. And we'll see where Chudat goes. Santiago has gone Ganondorf, and uh, Chudat in response is hesitating. What are we looking at? All right. Go to FD, shoot at Santiago, Fox Ganondorf. Which end is the Fox? You'd be surprised when I told you. But here we are on the fringe counter pick. The reason for this is that Ganondorf generally has a pretty good time against Ice Climbers as his aerials are so enormous that his splits are better than most characters just in general. But uh, shoot at with a strong start. This is the reason to keep that fox around, just in case something like this happens. We've seen the true that fox before in this very situation against different players. That's a dead fox. And just like that, Santiago takes the stock. But uh, we have seen the fox before. We've seen even Puff come out in the cases of the Peach counterpicks. So true that has these answers at the ready for the Icy's counterpicks, should he have to use them. And it does turn out that he has. I didn't know Santiago had a Ganondorf, but frankly, I'm not surprised, as that could be a big opening. The lead? Yeah, that's standard fare. No Sakurai combo, percents are too high, and this could be bad for two that. Is that a dead Ganondorf? It is. Stocks are even, but... Kill percent matters very much in Fox Ganondorf. Ganondorf needs just the one stray aerial to clean up Fox more often than not. And he just waits on the percents where he needs the great shine to get out of that situation where that aerial would have come up. Here comes Tudat. What a read on the down B. Can he get the cleanup? Yes, sir. Slow get up. Great combo from Tudat's Fox. How about that? So 
So we go back to this. Santiago just, again, he, he just really just needs one aerial or something of that nature. There is his, there is his up air. And there you go. So basically an even game. Interesting when you think about these varying character combinations, how these would work out, and interesting when you see them. Santiago couldn't get anything else off that dare, and that was a bit of a commitment. Up smash true comboing into something at that percent, which is kind of unusual, at least in my eyes. Ganondorf at the at the corner. This is where he struggles, and Chudat does get the stock off that jab, stock lead for Chudat. Chudat's doing a great job of not getting caught by those fairs. So as I say that, what a tech to even think to do that tech is amazing, although he does die from that situation. But great survival is strategy from Chudat, and great stock from Santiago, not to discount what he's doing. And we go to last stock and Fox Ganondorf. Ganondorf off stage. Great roll to get on. Oh, that was quite the call out. This could be it. Good defensive up air from Santiago, keeping himself in it. Gets a grab, nothing doing. Ganondorf is living. Fourth heaviest character in the game, and that gets him things. Great ability, technical ability from Santiago to just get the get the uh, jump on and to walk up throw up there. We'll take the stock and shoot at. 2-1 up on Santiago after an unusual counter pick. I would assume that we're going to go back to Ice Climber's uh, Falco or something of that nature. And we do. So, Icy's Bird once again. We go to Fountain of Dreams. And uh, great mash out from Santi. Off stage, coming back home with the ledge top double laser. Two that can't catch him as he damages Nana and then the Popo. Get up attack is a split. That's terrible for Nana, and two that's out of a Nana fairly early. Um, Sopo situation, not good for two that is normal, but two that the best in the world at making something of these, and you can see that he is doing it. I believe since Nana died, Chudat has dealt more percentage to Santiago than Santiago has dealt to him, and that and he proves it by taking a stock almost with that Sopo entirely. Here comes a tech chase. Not quite, but this when it, when Isaac gets this much mileage off Sopo, he might have you beat. It's it's hard to come back from something like this. It's certainly possible you can get a split and then do better against succeeding Sopo stocks, or just take them both out at once. But it can be really hard to come back from something like this. Weak F smash, I mean, everything's literally, everything's figurative. Relative. Um, and that'll be a dead climber. But to that, despite the early Nana kill, getting a bunch of mileage off of his Sopo. What an opener from Santiago, and he takes the stock. Dominating stock from Santiago, and he takes his first lead since the game he won or rather since the beginning of game three. But great wobble set from Chudat. And standard fair will take place once again. Pretty much an even game here in this game four on Fountain of Dreams. Fountain being Santiago's counter pick. Time pressure, Santiago wise to get out with that double jump. Going for another big stock, but couldn't get it and now finds himself in an edge guard situation, but he's all right. Nana rolls back on, but doesn't get anything. That's probably a dead Nana, but he goes for Popo instead, and Chudat makes him pay. All right, Nana off stage. Hard pressed to find a good situation where Nana could recover from that. And a missed ledge dash from Chudat, and the Sopo not as dominating this time. And Santiago again with the slight lead. Maybe a dead Santiago. Good DI mix up. He goes to ledge off that down tilt. Great get up attack. These are all good choices. But he can't clean up Nana quite yet. We'll see if this is a cleanup. It's not. There it is, though. And we go to last stock in game four. Santiago. 
highly advantaged, but he misses Nana. Nana with the getup attack to keep the grab going. Choosing to go for Popo once again. I don't know about that. He needs to get Nana out if he wants to prevent the Icy's Punish game from sending him to a watery grave. Why is it watery? I have no idea. Um, but okay, so he does... He does get Nana off, and now it's just him and Sudad. Sudad coming back to ledge. As usual, fantastic job not getting overwhelmed, but this should be it. Invincible Bear, you bet. And we go to game five. FD, the best Icy's counter pick, has already been exhausted. We'll see what Shuda has in store for us. Not four side, to be sure. Although I wouldn't mind. It'd be interesting. Stadium? All right. A stadium we will go for game five. Ice Climbers and Falco in this particular matchup, this set. Santi is... Uh, Sonny is 2-1. He did lose the Fox Ganondorf game. That should be a dead mana, and it is. That's bad for 2 but we'll see what he can get off this Sopo stock. Fair amount, but we go back to neutral. Despite what I said, where like it's very bad if an Ice Climber player can get a lot of damage on you with the Sopo, or even take the stock, which 2 did in game 4, Santiago still won that game. So not only is it possible, it has been done already in this set to recover from something like that. But Santiago takes the Ice Climber stock. And four stock to three. Chudat has not, I don't believe he got it. I mean, he might have gotten one wobble last game, but it's been a while, to say the least. No wobbles so far this game, obviously. Good little two-piece. Great angle from Santiago to mitigate everything. And he gets back to center. That's bad for two. No down smash. Grabs Nana again. To that wisely waiting it out. Just looking to get the cleanup, and he will do so. And the stocks are even again. Back to neutral and wobble. Wobble de wobble de wop. Wobble de wobble. I'm stack stacking my paper. My wall it looked like a Bible. <laughs> And he doesn't get the full cleanup. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so uh, stock lead for two that, but nothing huge so far. But the Nana kill comes out. And the Popo kill to follow, not yet. Great read from two that. Or rather, two reads in a row to get that grab. Not great the eye on the back air, though. This should be a fairly simple cleanup. And it is, but it's not over yet. Another bear. Two stock to two. Up. Oh, just got caught. It happens. You get caught. And I don't need to do the thing again. And again, Chudat can't quite get the, the cleanup on the wobble. Interesting choice, or uh, mishap, rather. So two down with a two stock to one advantage. We'll see if he can work this into a victory or if Santiago can work his magic. All right, getting Nana isolated. I like it. I like it. He keeps going with it. All right, that is a dead Nana. A little bit of extra damage. How about some more? Up there, not going to kill yet. Two that back. But uh, this will be hard to get back from. And he does get a bit of chip, but uh, there goes Popo. Last stock. Game five. Round two, losers, loser gets 33rd. Winner moves on. All right, that could be a big shine, but just gets caught with the back air. Simple edge guard, and it's not enough. That could be bad. All right, Nana's back. See that firmly? The ball is firmly in his court. It's his game to lose, and he might have. 
Is this a comeback? It looks like it. No, two down with a jump. Rolls out of pressure. Santiago ready for it. And the and the miss ledge dash and two that out at 33rd. Santiago moves on. And there you go. Fantastic set from these players. Santiago the victor. And that'll do it.